Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I have a look at those hair. I love your hair like this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm half ready. Uh, so, you know, these are the, the uh, after incredible party last night. <laughs> yeah. And after your incredible, incredible training today. Oh God, I'm just out of the gym, girl. Oh God, <laughs> I'm destroyed. No, you uh, are not. The beautiful Monica. Yeah, today she really killed me. Like, <laughs> I love your Saturday mornings. You are always happy after your exercise with Monica. <laughs> so that is a good yeah, thing. Yeah, you need so much, and then you cannot even walk because you are like, oh my God. But then you know, it is what it is. <laughs> So let's give our beautiful tribers a little bit of time to connect. Yeah. Good morning, Andrea. He said, ciao. <laughs> ciao. Morning. Oi. Hello, Marit. Okay, are we ready for this? <laughs> Another few minutes and then we can kick off our beautiful life today. Today we speak about connection, right? Oh yes, we will speak about connection. My favorite subject uh, besides the how to build your self-confidence. <laughs> Good. So as I just arrived at home from the gym, let me take off my shoes, get comfortable. Ah, my sofa. Ooh. Oh, ready. <laughs> Not today. Today's was, so if some of our students find it like, question why on a, on a friday night i'm never out is because i have my training very early on a saturday, saturday morning, morning and if i'm not fully on I, i'm just not able to you know anyway so perfect so let's kick this off so we talk about connection what are you yeah. talking about today what what do you have for us nancy today well i have i have a few tips uh firstly what connection is so for me, connection is uh, an energy exchange where uh, one of us cares and pay attention to the other. And that power, uh, that connection has the power to deepen the moment, to inspire the change, to build trust. And connection is lately very, very important in my life because I finally find out how to build it. So that is an amazing thing. And uh, I will try today uh, to explain how to be amazing in connection. But uh, firstly, to be amazing in connection, we have to be equally uh, amazing to not letting in a rejection. Because those two you things don't are let very, what? very... Sorry? Rejection. 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 Excuse my language. Yeah, no, I, couldn't, I couldn't hear. That's fine. So in order to be uh, amazing in connection we have to be uh, phenomenal in avoiding rejection because we are coming onto this planet with two very very powerful needs and the first need is to find and maintain connection and the second need is to seek acceptance and avoid rejection those two needs are very very connected and go one to each other beside each other and we have to know how to deal with one to be amazing in another so avoiding be rejected is very important because that is our tribal need even we are not living anymore in the tribe we still have those uh, tales uh, dragging with us because 500 years ago when you lived in a tribe you needed your tribal people to back you up to help you in hunting to help you in raising your family in life in general and uh, if somebody will tell me that we have no any more those needs i would just say observe a group of women who are outside together and uh, for example one will say i'm going to the toilet who is going with me and 
you will hear, I will go and I will go too. So you have three or four of us going together to the toilet. That is because uh, in a tribal uh, life, it was very, very dangerous for women to go uh, by themselves on the toilet because outside you never knew what, what will find you or what will you find. So you always had to have somebody who will watch your back. With men ah. is different. They are peeing standing so they can see what is going on <laughs> around them. Uh, and you will never see today a man asking uh, his body, come on, <laughs> will we go together on the toilet? That is just kind of a women thing. And that is our tribal thing still. So it's interesting. I didn't uh, know about this. Yeah, but yeah, makes sense. Nice one. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 to go <laughs> to go and drive together every time. Yeah. So uh, the other thing, uh, the bonds of connection um, are very, very fragile. And the only thing can damage those bonds is fear from rejection. Okay. And uh, we are very kind of uh, thinking silly thoughts, uh, rejection will kill me. But no, it will not, because we can build our no one can reject me muscle. And I will try to explain now um, how and what is going on in, in us, in our brain, in our body, in, in us. So uh, we, are, we are more than capable to cope uh, with rejection because nobody can reject you without your permission. You are the one who will choose what will you let in or what will you not let in. So ah. you, know, you know that happy people are caring people, kind people, and uh, unhappy people are a little bit mean, sometimes critical. So, so true. That so, is so but, true. Sorry. You just touched a nerve there. Ah, yeah. So true. <laughs> Keep on going. Sorry. So, uh, <laughs> as I said, we, we can choose uh, what, will, what will we let in. So if an uh, unhappy person who is hurt with something, tells you something not nice or mean or reject you. Um, I mean, why would you let that in? Why that opinion is so important? That is just an opinion of a person who probably needs somebody's help. And you know that it's probably somebody that has been hurt, that hurts on its own, you know, because that's, that's the way that it goes, that's the way he feels, you know, the fact that he's, comfortable into the hurting pattern and he does to other people what he received instead of so every time we spoke about this few weeks ago we decided to either step out of our comfort zone and evolve so a plus one or uh, retrocede into into fear and go minus one some people are more brave have more tools to expand and some people just shrink and yeah. the more you shrink the more you will try you will be you will reflect your inner world to the people around you, unfortunately, you know, because probably you don't have the tools to expand instead of shrinking. Probably this is the sometimes yeah, this and also one more. Sorry? No, you were saying. And also one more thing, you know, that it's all about perception. It's all about having the way we perceive the life, the life happened for us, not to us, always. So for every single second, you know, you can either decide to live your life in fear or the way that, you know, we do in our tribe to just open and you know what, get hit me, it's okay, bring it on, it's okay, it's I fine, can but you know what, I can cope with that, then I'm there, you know. And I'm there with you and I'm there for you. And you know what? Life is happening for me. So let's get the most of it. So sometimes, yes, fear and fear of rejection can be one of our biggest enemy because we don't live. Yeah. We just shrink so much that we, it's like me being close in my room or in my, in my shelter, in my, in my shell and just not even stepping out once because I'm too scared to to open up to the world yeah so uh fear is the only devil devil in this earth the only one because fear 
will not stop you from that. Fear is stopping you from uh, live. I just translated that from Croatian, so it sounds very silly. Um, whatever. Uh, I don't know how you, when you are looking back in, in, in your life, and I'm looking back in my life, at this moment, I'm so, so grateful for all my rejections I had, because they redirected me to the place where I'm now, today, and I'm extremely happy today, and I'm extremely, I love my life, I love myself, I love the people around me. So, I don't know, uh, my marriage. I will not go now in, in, in my marriage, what, whatever, but that was a huge rejection in, in, in my life. Uh, if that wouldn't if that wouldn't happen, I wouldn't be here today. And wow. I can't I can't even explain how do I feel today comparing how I felt while 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 I was married. So all the rejections happening happening with reason. And if we are not taking them personally, and that is a very, very powerful thing, nothing, nothing, nothing is for you or into you. Don't take anything personally. Anything what happens around you will tell you about other people, not you. Because if you know who you are, if you know where you go, uh, no one can reject you. No one can hurt you. No one can do nothing damageful to you. And this open a bigger topic about a system of beliefs and very um, deeper belief because this open a... Um, you know, sometimes it's it's crazy how we uh, how we we just tell to ourselves, okay, so this is who I am, and, and and just go. You cannot hurt me. I'm not gonna feel that. You know, and you cope with all the rejection and all the things. And in the soft phase, everything is fine, and you are incredible. But then deep inside, there is something that it, it brings, it pulls you back. So whenever you don't clean, your fully believe it's just sometimes it's very I don't know, traumas when we were young or whatever. And sometimes it's, it's so deep and within ourselves, the fact that we don't feel enough, we don't feel love, we, you know, that we deserve this rejection. Not always is, um, not always is in the surface, it's like an iceberg, you know? The top of the iceberg, it's like, oh yes, I'm, I'm worth it. I, I, I'm not fear, fearing the rejection because I know who I am, but very deep inside what very often happens is that these beliefs are rooted within our identity so much that even though we know that we are worth it, they work in autopilot to jeopardize our results and our, mm -hmm. and our you know? So oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a deeper... It's a deeper. It is work. a deeper, but we we have no time to go in that deep. Uh, no, no, now. It's just because sometimes that is, that is having the knowledge, you know, that we have to love ourselves and having the knowledge of who we are, and still sometimes we are still some. We can feel there is something that is holding us behind. The first thing we should think is. Okay, so holds, what holds me back? Which is the fear? How do I feel? Why, why is still there? Why can't I move on to this path? Yes, I'm telling myself that I, I don't, that I know who I am, but why am I still there? Why, why I still have this rejection, fear, or whatever? So yeah. Anyway, well, I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it because every time I uh, experience something like that, I'm going back in my childhood, how my parents left me, and that. Uh, fear of abandonment and that fear of not being important and that fear of not being chosen and all those fears we are forming our beliefs until we our fifth year and after that we are dragging them through all our life and that is not fair because I'm not three or four anymore I'm an adult woman who is more than capable to take care of myself financially emotionally in every every uh, level and layer of the life and uh, that little girl yes you know I, I have sometimes exercises with myself in my head that i'm holding myself and i'm hugging myself and i'm explaining to myself come on you are not in danger anymore look what we have look around you look you are sleeping here look the car outside look the credit card look this look that so that is a fast way how to leave those beliefs behind but you have uh, 
that's a very incredible point you just made. You know, I had a session with my with my therapist yesterday, and we have been yes, because you know I'm into this process of deepening my 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 routine to myself. And yesterday we were just talking about this, you know, about the different type of pieces that a personality can have. And you have the businesswoman, you have the dancer, you have the friend, you have the partner, or whatever. And then you have this little girl that has been hurt. That it feels lonely, that it feels abandoned. I don't know if you, you know, you know, you know my story. I don't have parents anymore, you know, that you feel unloved and whatever. And the only thing we need to do is to look after this little girl. And if she is not able to get out of any type of situation, we need to be there for, for, for her, for us. And just it's say, called, okay, you it's know, called be the parent to yourself you always wanted to have. <laughs> that's true yeah and uh yeah, yeah. those are those are the things are holding us back from connections the fear fear of this fear of that fear of rejection is the most powerful Correct. that is true but from the other side uh yes we all seek connection but you know that connection is not always comfortable or easy because you will find sometimes connection when you are very very low very very vulnerable very very um not not ready to connect with somebody and those kind of situations uh requires a lot of self-observation but from the other side if we are not true selves if i will fake you my whatever you will figure that out in no time and forget about any kind of connection but if i will show you how weak i am sometimes all my fears not all yeah, my fears really, but yeah. that that takes time but all my fears my vulnerabilities my imperfections uh that is a very very good base to build connection with somebody because you know similar people will go to similar you know in in a kindergarten for example uh somebody likes to play with a doll a girl and another girl likes to play with the doll oh you love, you want to play with me here is the boy who wants to play who loves to play with the dolls oh come on and here is the small tribe you know and they are connected in i don't know because they want to play with the doll love to play with the doll and uh, that is very important that everything always starts from us everything and always even connection i told you yesterday that i figured out lately something and i still don't know how to manage that and that is called be detached. What? I, it's called? Be, not be attached to something. Ah, be, be detached. detached. Okay. Be detached. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yes, I I want to be connected. and uh, But I'm not detached to the outcome to that connection. If you don't want to be connected with me, that's fine. I'm still connected with you and to you. But I am not, uh, I, I don't depend uh, on your feelings. On to the outcome. Me. Yeah, okay. to the outcome. There, and that is, that is amazing that I still don't know what to do with that. <laughs> but I know what I mean. This is the thing exactly, you know. So the, why we get hurt? We get hurt because we're expecting something that people don't give us. Yes. So if we remove the expectation and we just leave the connection, we can be hurt. Pure, true freedom. Because nobody can hurt you, you're free. There is yes. actually a beautiful message from um, from Ray that says connection is so important from a psychotherapeutic perspective. Sorry, my pronunciation. Um, and it's so relevant to that connection because we need to be okay with people touching us and moving our body. This is so true. It, true. It's so yeah. true. And also what you were talking before about vulnerability, you know, so the power of vulnerability. I'm gonna actually put a link. Uh, to a beautiful speech from Rene, uh, Brené Brown about vulnerability, one of the one of the best speech I ever heard. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, there is so there is so important to um, coming back to your point to don't get attached to the outcome. If you want to have a connection, okay, it's normal. This is just theory, but you're free in the moment where you say you know what i'm gonna to connect to you no matter what i'm not expecting anything yeah. in return but this is just my soul with your soul together and that's it and that's all and that that is amazing i think that is the most wonderful 
experience feeling we can we can have this this freedom and this connection i'm connected to you and from the other side i don't really care you know what 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 will be what have what's happening and yeah. you know what what we are doing in our tribe our community we are building together uh all the people that that uh that 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 moment of breaking through uh, that fear of of being rejected, and I I see now more people that they are kind of you know I I see them walking brave hearted into new connections. <laughs> yeah, this is so true. I mean, I remember some of the guys in the beginning of the class they were so scared, but look what we created. We created a safety space yes. for every dancer. Guys, come to us. Is it safety? Create your connection, take your time, get out of your comfort zone and grow with us. You know, exactly. As you said, you could see these little people in the beginning very shy and now you see them, you know, yeah. completely open to the and fear. This is, this is amazing. Even last night I was, you know, observing who, who, what, why, not because of judging or whatever, just because I'm curious how we are growing together and how we are going forward together and further. Yeah. And, and this is just, this is just amazing. And the power of our tribe, yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I have few methods how to uh, maintain rejection, but we will not speak today about them because um, just not. We have no time for them. But we have okay. five, five methods uh, when somebody wants to reject you, how you can uh behave and how you can respond to those uh rejection things basically how to not let in that rejection but that is that is for some other time so <laughs> there well, is, there is something you have to throw the ball and then not keep on going you know so you tell me do you want to this is a topic we definitely have to touch at some point maybe maybe the ninth life because next week we have uh how to dance yourself back to you Oh, and, I can't wait. And and after that, we have our final, uh, maybe maybe we can, no, 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 no. The, the final life, the eight, uh, supposed to be that you will ne never dance on your own until you uh -huh. have yourself. And maybe the ninth life, but we will, we will discuss that later. We will discuss. I, I love, I love the, um, I love the topic that just, uh, you just brought up. How do we, deal with rejection i love it so yeah get it ready because i want it in the tribe i want that piece of your knowledge into the tribe no problem pleasure is all mine <laughs> okay beautiful so is there any other question from our beautiful tribers and thank you guys to to joining us this morning it's so nice i mean i'm really enjoying this live uh, because everybody shared their things and their opinion and the value that you're bringing and is just so good in here you know it's every time such an interesting conversation with you thank you very much but what i lo love in in all those our conversations that uh, you are sharing experience and that is very important because some people are maybe shy or in fear or whatever is going on with them but they are hearing that you know look she has the same issue as i have i'm not alone that is a connection again you know what i mean that's so true yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay beautiful let's wrap this up so the topic today was about connection and uh, you know uh, we touched it very very nicely and smoothly and thank you everybody to connect to us if you want to close and add the very last part about connection so what what would you what would you tell to the new tribers um how can they speed it up their connection with their self and with the community well you can speed that up everybody has their own speed and you know that you you can That's push okay. somebody and and but you can be there and you can help guide them so that guidance maybe will speed up <laughs> uh the connection I was very close when I came in a tribe, and you know that. And we all know that, now. yeah. We all know that, yeah. Yeah. You should, tribers, you should have seen her yesterday, all dressed up like a beautiful vampire, amazing, like a woman. Ah, oh, wow. She was incredible last night. 
<laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. I'll see you next week with another session. All the sessions okay. are anyway here in the tribe. Uh, you just have to search by Alchemy of Dancing and all the, uh, by our tags and all the episodes are tagged in there. Also in our YouTube channel, uh, the Tribe Dance Academy under the playlist Alchemy of Dancing, all the episodes are there. So we wish you an incredible jazz festival. Go and enjoy so much nice music here in Cork. And I, I wish you a very, very, very nice rest of the weekend, Tribers. Thank you so much, Nancy, for being with us again. And thank you, thank everybody, you. for being with us on a Saturday morning. Thank you, Tribers. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> See you. See you. See you. Thanks. Oh.